What is up Raptors, this is Jraptor77 here, with the full guide to the newly discovered shiny Pokemon method called Chain Fishing. Chain Fishing is a very fast and easy way to catch shiny Pokemon in Pokemon X and Y. I can attest because I have already caught a few shiny Pokemon with this method, including the one in this video. So what exactly is Chain Fishing? It is simply landing Pokemon as many times as possible in a row while staying in the same spot. The more Pokemon you land in a row, the higher your chance of receiving a shiny Pokemon will get. One mistake I made when I first discovered the method was thinking that chains could only occur if you land the exact same Pokemon many times in a row. This is wrong. It can and probably will be different Pokemon. However, in order for chains to increase, you must be in the same spot and cannot move a bit. If you do, your chain breaks. So you're going to need quite a few materials for this method, including whichever fishing rod you will use, the old rod which can be found in Ambrit Town Aquarium, the good rod which can be found in Coomarine City in the second half when you talk to the fishermen next to the boats, and the super rod which is in the fishing shack at Route 16. And you're going to need Pokeballs to catch the shiny Pokemon. Dive balls work best for this as they are water type Pokemon. You're also going to need a Pokemon with either of these abilities, suction cups or sticky hold. What this does is it increases the likelihood of landing a Pokemon while fishing. Pokemon that can have suction cups include Inkay, Malamar, Cradillion, Octillery. Pokemon that can have sticky hold include Grimer, Muck, Swalot, Gastrodon, and others. A Pokemon with the hidden move Surf is also ideal if you plan on surfing to areas while fishing. So once you have all of these, you will need to put the Pokemon with either sticky hold or suction cups in the first slot of your party. Then you must find an ideal fishing spot. When I say ideal, I mean enclosed. The more enclosed an area is where you fish, the more the likelihood of landing a Pokemon gets. So this means you will almost always have a bite with both the enclosed area and the special ability Pokemon. I find that some good places to fish are in Shalor City next to the Tower of Mastery, and in Route 16 next to the Fishing Shack. Once you have your ideal fishing spot, you can now begin to fish. Land as many Pokemon as possible, and as opposed to the Poke Radar where you must fight the Pokemon, now you can run. So, it's also important to know what will and will not break Pokemon fishing chains. What will break chains include moving from the place where you are fishing, and getting any of these messages. Nothing seems to be biting. Oops, you reeled in too early. Oops, you reeled in too slow. What will not break chains is running from the Pokemon battle, or defeating the wild Pokemon. There are also still many uncertainties about the method about what will, what will or will not break chains which include catching a shiny Pokemon, catching a Pokemon, or just switching menu screens on the touch screen. And if you wait just a few seconds here, you'll see my new shiny Pokemon that I got while recording this video, and it is a Remoraid, which I will nickname Beta. Here are all three of the shiny Pokemon I have caught while doing this method. Here's Beta, the recent one, and Octillery, which I also caught from a Remoraid. And lastly, I have Basculin. Thanks for watching this, Raptors. Please like, subscribe, and all that stuff to join the Raptor Pack.